we are in Provo Canyon with uh, Sarah and Clark there. And uh, we're gonna go hike towards Bridalville Falls. And this is about two weeks after the avalanche came down. An avalanche this size. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's pretty wild. It's something a lot of people haven't seen in a while or ever. It was so much bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, off the waterfall there. But uh, yeah, we're exploring Utah County a little bit. Because uh, right now we live in Davis County, the county to the north of us. So it's about an hour drive for us. But we were down here in the area and decided to go for a quick little hike. So I've done this hike a few times. So it's probably more of like a walk, really. But, uh, cause you can actually see the waterfall from the, the road up there or the, the highway. Uh, but you park in this park, which is closed for the season. So you get to, you know, park up there and then just walk towards it. Uh, but anyways, uh, so like, what, 12 years ago, uh, my friends and I, Actually, not even them, it's just me. I wanted to repel uh, down Bridalville Falls. So it's part of canyoneering. And at the time, I couldn't find not even one picture. This is in 2010 um, of anyone repelling that waterfall. Uh, I did a deep search. I looked on ice climbing websites and people ice climb it, but there was like no repelling like in the summertime. And so anyways, I scouted it out. Uh, and then later on, uh, like a few months later, brought some friends down and we propelled down it. It was amazing. And then I posted the pictures online on uh, Bogley.com. And then after that, you know, now I see regular constant updates about Rival Falls and people propelling it. Anyways, there's my little humble brag. Yeah, we're at the base of where the avalanche fell down, but checked it out. All the branches mixed in. Yeah, it came down like two weeks ago and it uh, happened in the morning, like at five or six, seven a.m., something like that. So no one was around, thankfully. That's crazy. All the rocks and yeah, this is, Compact this now too. Look how deep Clark is. Whole new experience. We're mountaineering on unstable terrain in my sneakers. Sarah has better shoes than I do. And Clark's loving it. Check that out. Huge steps. That's like a three foot step. <laughs> All right, I think we're about at the level of where we want to go. It's quite a bit steeper, but look at that. I've repelled down that a few times. It's dangerous when it warms up. 
you know, and all this snow melts. Yeah. Actually, this will probably be here. Just, you know how deep it is? Yeah. This might be here until like June, July. Like easy. Because like we're like 15, 20 feet from the ground right now. Because the right here is just a ton of just rocks. Yeah. Uh, you know, from the base of the waterfall, there's tons of you know, like a talus or talus, uh, talus rock pile. Yeah, and we're like 20 feet above the ground right now. Wow. So all that snow has to melt. And this is like <laughs> compacted snow. You know, Clark just lay down. Clark, you love the snow up here? I love it. <laughs> I love the snow. This is a very yeah unique hike. Walked along the edge of the, the avalanche uh, edge there. Alright, head him back down. We put Clark off leash here, which could be dangerous. There's a lot of, uh, this ground's unstable. So if Clark suddenly disappears, you're gone forever, Clark. This is deep snow, huh? Oh, good boy, huh? That was tough, huh? That was tough. Clark, what are you doing? <laughs> you a husky dog? Yeah? Because it wouldn't be looking like this after an avalanche, so this snowed like another foot. Right here. <laughs> Good jump, Clark. Who's that doggy? Watch out, doggy! <laughs> Clark, where are you going? Don't follow random dogs. Just appeared out of nowhere. All right. That's about it for uh, Bridalville Falls. A short, sweet adventure. Checking out the avalanche, which was crazy. That was a very unique situation. I mean, because you think about it, how many times would you ever crawl or walk on an avalanche? You know, but since this happened in the popular area or destination, we were able to uh, kind of walk on one. Clark loved it for sure. And hopefully no one was buried under the initial one, but and Clark just went poop. And this, now it's my hand warmer. Just kidding. Well, it's actually Sarah's hand warmer. All right, that's it from us in uh, Provo Canyon, Utah. Sarah and Clark and Brett. See you on the next one.